Hi, you guys. This is Carmen from Carmen's Mind, Body, Spirit, and Soul, my YouTube channel. And I hope you guys got to see the first video. If you haven't, it's how to make keto nachos with pork rinds. I'm going to start making the, the videos to where you hear me talk because one thing very important when you do keto nachos is don't put the pork rinds on the bottom of the plate. What you need to do is put all your f toppings, fillings, and then the pork rinds on top because pork rinds will get very, very soggy. So today we're going to be making a broccoli salad. Um, well, let me turn the camera to me so you can go ahead and see me and hopefully you'll be able to see me. I should say this. If you want to skip to the recipe, I'm going to go ahead and timestamp it so that way you know where the recipe is. All right, you guys, so my name is Carmen, and if I look familiar, that's because I had a YouTube channel that I have now given to my daughter, whose channel is now called Richelle's Angelic Guidance. And um, I gave that channel to her, and I do write. I write spiritual books and children's books. And I also started another YouTube channel, and uh, so that way I wouldn't mix this. I decided to do a pen name, which is Casey Wolf, because I'm going to be writing supernatural books. And my first book that I'm doing right now is about a werewolf. And I'm also going to be teaching people how to write, um, show, not tell, how to structure a novel, and all that good stuff on that channel, and then be giving you like little exercises on that particular channel. So, But my name is Carmen, but my pen name for paranormal is Casey Wolf with an E at the end. Um, but I'm very excited to start this channel, and I'm so excited because look what I got today. I got my Complete Keto by Drew Manning. He's the guy from Fit to Fat to Fit. If you guys ever saw that, um, it became a big television show, and they actually got personal trainers to gain weight so that way they could understand and relate to what people who are having a hard time losing weight go through, all the psychological uh, things that go behind that. And this is this picture. It was everywhere. I remember seeing it. And um, so he went ahead and did that. And, he, and it's a really good read because he tells you um, how to eat keto and what you need. Um, he one thing I love about it is he is very, um, and I believe in this, and this is what this channel is also going to do, is we're going to practice gratitude. When you're thankful to the universe for everything you receive, the universe will give that back to you. Uh, if you are a negative person and you're always putting yourself down in others, then the universe is going to give that to you because that's the energy you're putting out. So I also believe in that. That's why my channel is Carmen's Mind, Body, Spirit, and Soul. Spirit and Soul are two different things. Um, he talks about meditation. I have several meditations on my daughter's channel, which is Rochelle's Angelic Guidance. And I'm also training to be a hypnotherapist. Uh, I really want to help people get uh, to the bottom, to the root of issues. Uh, and get on a soul level to work with you and get rid of all that gunk, that uh, all those layers, protective layers um, from abuse, from uh, trying to survive, from thinking of um, just thinking things, oh, this is what I need to do. I need to behave this way so I'm accepted. I need to behave this way so that people don't get mad at me. I need to behave this way so um, I, I don't get hurt. So we're going to get to the bottom of that. And I'm, I'm going to be listing stuff like that to help you too in this channel and hopefully also do uh, hypnotherapy sessions or little videos on how to go under to help you lose weight or overcome fears. Or uh, One of the main things for me is uh, I want to do a past life regression to help people. It doesn't even have to be past life. It, has to be some, it could also be something that affected you in, the, in your earlier childhood or earlier on. So that's one thing I'm really happy about. So he also talks about meditation, which I believe is very important. It helps you connect with source. It helps you connect with your soul. When you sit down quiet uh, and you try to listen to your soul, um, he talks about the importance of having the potassium in your body and the magnesium. That's very important. And the electrolytes. He like consistently talks about that. And it's true because when I used to do, uh, when I first started keto, uh, I did have 
some issues. So, like my heart rate was always, you know, going out of, out of rhythm. And uh, he talks about uh, the best foods to eat and um, how much protein you should have. So it should be 75% fat because fat's going to make you lose weight. Uh, fats like avocado, olive oil, um, having some avocado oil, coconut oil, and just the natural fats from the meats you're eating. 20% is going to come uh, from your protein. You're going to have 20% protein and 5% carbs. He says 30 carbs. Mostly everybody I know talks about um, 20 to 25% carbs, but I really like it. Um, he talks about testing your ketones. Um, I'm not going to do that because I just feel it's a waste of money. But um, but one thing I do like is he gives you a 30-day program. And he also gives you exercises you can do. And he shows you the exercises you can go ahead and do. And uh, you pretty much have to read 90 pages before you go. So he sets you off and like, let's say on day six you could have um, breakfast notorious for coffee, a lot of keto. Now, if you're like me and you suffer with anemia, that's the last thing you need. You don't need coffee. So I'm going to have to try to think of a substitute, um, anything with caffeine, um, teas, and um, what is it? Coffee uh, aren't good for you if you're anemic. So even when I drink the uh, caffeine-free ones, it still affects me for some reason and the reason that happened to me is because I kind of went vegetarian and unfortunately a lot of vegetarians are anemic but then I got really sick and stuff started happening to me I actually got a reading and someone said you need to go see a doctor now you, if your uncle is like begging you to go see a doctor and I'm like no I feel fine you know I mean I just I felt things, but I thought it was normal, and that now I come out that all those symptoms I was feeling, it wasn't it wasn't normal. I grew up with a mother that never took me to the doctor when I was sick, so I pretty much always dealt with it, so I was still under that mentality. Um, but anyway, so, uh, but once I I went on back on my keto carnivore diet, my I got healthy again, so I'm very happy for that. But um, yeah, had that psychic not told me, I would have never gone. Uh, your iron's supposed to be anywhere between 16 and 18. Uh, I'm 46. I'm going to be 46 in a couple of weeks. And um, you're supposed to be. Uh, so I'm supposed to be at, four, at 16, and I was at a seven. That's how low my iron was. And it gets, I never knew how bad iron was. And you think, oh, eat spinach, eat kale. No, your body can't get, you need meat. You need the iron from meat because I'm telling you, I was eating a lot of spinach, kale, beans, and I was anemic. So anyway, so right here, it says day six. So he has chicken, apple, sausage, scramble. And then for your dinner, you have lemon, pepper, salmon with coleslaw and asparagus. And he said you can go ahead and uh, alternate um, if you don't like something, you can alternate it. And of course, he talks about your positive affirmation. Every morning, start with a positive affirmation. Meditation and your workout. Um, always, start, and I do believe in this, is when you lose weight, you're finally fed up and you're tired. You're tired of being not lose weight, but when, you're all, when you want to lose weight, you're, I've gotten to that point because there was one time I was almost 200 pounds and I was tired. I was sick. And I enjoyed all the donuts and all the stuff, you know, the sugary stuff. And um, my son's friend recommended keto, and I lost 20 pounds, like, within three months, and I was very happy. Now, I did gain 10 pounds recently because I had my wisdom teeth removed, uh, and it's because suffering with anemia and stuff. Um, uh, it was during that time where I was just starting to get my um, iron level back up that it took me a month to heal. So, um, but let me see. So I gained 10 pounds. Now I'm trying to lose them. Uh, so let's say for breakfast you can have cinnamon pancakes with bacon and eggs and zoodles and meatballs would be the other meal. 
He also tells you, so you also you can have the exercises. And let me show you the exercises. This is such a good book. He, he is like he really wants to help you. You can tell because he's giving you everything. This is kind of like what I do with my other channel that I used to run uh, to show you how to be more spiritual, connect with your angels, how to see auras, how to sense energy and stuff. I try to be a thorough because some people just want to know the information, but if you educate yourself on things and you try to help them as much as possible, uh, it's a greater reward and they understand things better. And I can see that he's trying to do that here. So he talks, you know, the type of exercises you can do like hips and he shows himself doing the exercises. Uh, leg raises, lunges. What I'm going to do though for me, uh, push-ups. And then I'm going to do Pilates with a lot of stretches uh, because I tend to suffer from sciatica. Um, so anyway, but look, every recipe has a picture. To me, how you, uh, one thing that I don't like is when I see recipe books with no pictures. I'm like, we Food is stimulating. We need to smell it. We need to see it. Of course, we can't smell it through here, but seeing it makes you want to um, make it. I just find it weird when people don't put pictures <laughs> on recipes. Every single one has a beautiful picture. I have something in here. Oh, grocery list. Um, see everything. Look how delicious it looks. And then plus, I'm also going to be sharing some of my recipes that I make. And this is one quick recipe that I'm going to make. So then I'm not going to start this till tomorrow. He says you can alternate the things. So I'm going to try uh, my best to upload as soon as possible, uh, at least a few times a week, because I do run my other um, Casey Wolf. I am writing a romance novel right now. And, uh, you know, I make salt, bad salt, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to take care of your energy field. Um, how to clear energy, uh, how to balance your chakras all spiritually, how to connect better with your soul, how to connect better with source, how to listen to your angels. I'm going to have things with tarot, crystals, herbs, healing herbs, and all that kind of stuff. That's what my channel is going to be. It's all about your body, mind, spirit, and your soul. And my daughter is going to be selling this. This is so cool. I believe in charging water, okay, so um, a lot of people who are into like the new age metaphysical thing, we believe um, crystals carry a sense of energy, so let's say you want to clear your energy, one of the best crystals to have is a black tourmaline, and what this has, you can put your water in here, it's made out of glass and bamboo, so, it's, um, so you put your water in here, turn it over, First, I would put the crystal, but I, this is what I'm showing you because she's got her water charging. And this one has uh, celestite and it, uh, some quartz, celestite, uh, see, quartz is the clear one, the celestite is the blue one. Quartz is a master stone, that means you can program it to do everything, uh, whatever you would like it to be programmed to do for you. Um, it also amplifies strength of the other crystals. Uh, celestite is to connect with angels, to communicate uh, heavenly realms, and here's the green agate. It, um, Archangel Raphael it connects you with the divine. Um, green is also healing. Um, you know, I could also help you with the chakra. So let's say the clear one can go on your head, the root, the crown chakra, the green one, the heart, and the blue, the throat for communication. And so what you can do is you can put your crystals in this, and they don't touch made out of glass, it's uh, sealed, then you put your water and then you could let it charge, you can put some angel music on there, you could go ahead and put it outside so that it gets charged by the moon uh, or, or by the sun and then you drink it and you drink all the benefits of clearing uh, or helping you balance your chakra, so this is something that my daughter and I are going to sell. Um, and um, also, like I said, I'm going to be making bath salts. Trust me, you feel the energy. I felt it before, like I buzzed for days. Um, so that's what we're gonna, I just wanted to give you like a quick thing. And now we're gonna get to the recipe. Um, all right, so we're gonna be making a very quick salad that I like to make. 
What I'm going to use is I'm going to use the uh, Fiesta Law, or they also have another one called the Broccoli Law. And it's already been washed for you, and uh, you can wash it again if you'd like. Uh, but this is supposed to be very easy. Uh, they sell it at my local ATB, or you can go to Walmart or Smith's, uh, Kroger's, Trader Joe's, whatever stores buy you. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump this in here. Now this has a little bit of sugar in it. Uh, it says that it has two grams of sugar because of the carrots. It's the carrots that have the sugar. Um, you're supposed to try not to have more than certain grams of sugar. I can't even remember. but So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to place it on the side. And I have my eggs. And I'm going to go ahead and chop real quick for you. You can buy the um, already boiled um, eggs. They sell them at Walmart or um, whatever grocery store you have. This is just something easy to have because, you know, a lot of times where we fail is where we're starving and we don't have things um, set aside for us. One thing I'm going to let you know about keto, if you're new to it, is um, it fills you up. When I used to run my other channel, uh, when I used to eat a lot of high fiber foods because I thought that was better for me, I had a condition that said I needed to eat high fiber foods and I, I ended up losing weight, but I ended up turning anemic because it was more vegetarian. Um, so anyway, but... Uh, um, I'm very happy that my son's friend introduced me to um, keto. He's the one that did it. Um, and so, but yeah, one of the things I noticed too about keto is you don't get hungry that much because you're eating that fat. So what's going to happen is when you get rid of the sugar and you get rid of the carbs, um, your body starts burning the fat. And fat is very saturating. Um, so... I do remember that I used to have a, a guy that followed me and I felt so bad for him because he said he was constantly hungry, like he was so hungry his stomach would hurt. My sister, my sister, my daughter says she goes through the same thing, so she gets very hungry that her stomach starts hurting a lot. Um, so, but one thing I do keep for her is like uh, healthy chicken wings for her so when she just wants to snack on something she can just go ahead and snack on the chicken wings like till I make dinner you know uh, I, I don't have a problem fasting you'll hear a lot of people say that they do intermittent fasting um, because you do get full you know um, due to um, all the high fat you eat on there I used to follow a guy, and I really hope he comes back. His name is Butter Bob. I loved his videos. He's very inspirational. Um, but it does. It fills you up. And if you do intermittent fasting, that means you wait 14 to 16 hours before your next meal. You, you would, um, your body's going to be burning nothing but fat. So... Um, that's how you lose weight. And my sister, I tried to get her to, to do keto, but she was like, no, there's no way. I have to eat. I, I can't be that way. I have to eat all the time. And I just kept asking her, like, just give it a try. And she, she said she gave it a try, but she was telling me she couldn't, she was starving. And I said, well, how are you starving? I'm not, I'm not understanding. And she said, well, will it affect me if I snack on m and I'm like, of course it will. You're eating sugar. So I have that in there. Now I buy the big chicken of the sea. By the way, those were five eggs. Chicken of the sea in oil. That's the only that's the only tuna I like. So I have the big one. And I'm gonna put two in here. I make enough so that way I have leftovers. So if you have a job or if you get hungry and you're starving, you already have something already made for you. So this also helps you with staying on keto. Um, let me see. Here we go. I always love this. I never like the water, the one in water. I was always like, ew. 
I used to babysit a little girl, and she would be like, ew. One of the things that I like, um, I ran out of avocados. I love this, the uh, spicy guacamole cups. I like them because, um, have you ever bought the guacamole and you use it and then you cover it and the next day it's brown? Well, I like it because this is portion control if you want to do that. Normally, I would have put like a whole avocado in here, uh, but this is all I have. Um, this is like about a quarter of a cup. Um, and here, we're getting healthy fats for us right here. The olive oil in the uh, tuna has a healthy fat in there. I'm also going to put a little bit of mayonnaise on there. You could, you're could, you welcome to put some mustard to make it a little bit spicy. You could even put pickles. I have a son who hates pickles, so um, that's the only re reason I don't include it in it. Um, I'm putting it in here. About I'm just getting the avocado that was in there. It looks like a half a cup, and then I'm going to see how that consistency is. Um, I checked the mayonnaise. It doesn't have any carbs. It doesn't have any sugar. So that's the good thing. I buy the uh, Kraft mayo. Yeah, the regular mayo. See how easy this is? And if you have the boiled eggs already boiled or... Um, one thing I learned, too, is to uh, cook a lot of uh, hamburger patties ahead of time so you can just make yourself something really quick. Oh, yeah, this looks good. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, if you want to put a little bit of tomatoes, you're welcome to. My favorite are these. They're the little cherub tomatoes. Yummy. You know, one thing I, 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 I didn't realize, I was craving tomatoes, and I looked, and that's because my iron was really low and I do remember my mom saying when she was pregnant for me she was constantly craving tomatoes now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of salt I'm going to add a little bit of um, pepper you're welcome to even add a little bit of jalapenos that's how I grew up I grew up eating salads with jalapenos in there that's how we made them we used to also put onions in it you can put a little bit of onions if you'd like. Remember that onions? Um, when cooked, caramelized, therefore turning into sugar. So I'm putting a little bit of black pepper. This family loves black pepper. I have noticed that when you cook with Himalayan salt, or Him uh, I have pink Himalayan salt, I buy the big containers at Ross. They're very inexpensive. Um, you usually need a little bit more salt than normal table, um, table salt. And by the way, did you know that the angels say the best salt to use to cleanse yourself is pink Himalayan salt? That's what they said. Uh, not Epsom salt, um, not the other types of bath salts. They recommended Epsom salt. So I just went ahead and I ordered 25 pounds of Epsom salt. I can start making the bath salts so people get or the energy um, but yeah so here is my salad you can put a little bit more lettuce if you want on there um, this is one of my favorites uh, the coleslaw that I buy the broccoli coleslaw from um, Walmart has some and HEB uh, if you live in Texas you know that HEB uh, food is fresher than Walmart that's why a lot of people like going to H-E-B. Plus, it's cheaper. The food is cheaper at H-E-B. And the meat is better quality. So here we go. Now i got to taste a little bit. So the last time I ate was about mm, 18 hours ago. So let me see. It's delicious. Like I said, you're going to add some olives or pickles. Cube some pickles or just have some pickles on the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is delicious. I hope you guys try it. It's going to be one of your favorites. And it's quick and it's easy and it's keto, low carb, high fat, easy recipe. Well, thank you for being on this keto journey with me. Not only are we going to be working on our body, we'll be working on our mind, body, spirit, and soul. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Share, like, and subscribe. Bye.